Prototypers, I want to show you another quick lesson on using the CPX as a keyboard. You ever get when you're working away and you're like, you know what, I could really use some music. Well, but maybe not this song. Yeah, this is the one. All right. We could be doing this, you know, we're still working and I hit these controls. Let's go, let's try next song. And it taps directly into the Windows Media controls. Well, if you're not feeling it, how about I just shake to go to the next song? So we can even use gestures. I'll hit pause. So how are we doing this? Well, we're using media controls and setting key presses that are media control presses to Spotify. Um, and I just wanna thank these Creative Commons music that, that's in Spotify. This is an album called Nordland by the band Binar Pilot. So just thanks for posting some Creative Commons music. So how can we build this? Well, as you can see, here's the final code. We're using these keyboard media keys, but let's start, start from scratch and I'll show you how to build this. And um, we'll just skip that. All right, so let's go to new projects. And um, you already saw the last, the final result. So let's just build that up. It's pretty simple and straightforward. It's definitely building on what we've, what we've already done. So since we're using the keyboard, we have to go to the extensions keyboard. I'll just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. Keyboard. And so you see there's this keyboard media key. Again, go back, keyboard. There's keyboard type, keyboard key press. There's this keyboard media key. So this is what we're gonna be using. And you have mute, volume up, volume down, play, pause. All of these things are media keys. Like some keyboards, extended keyboards, larger keyboards will have media keys on them. And so that's what we're gonna use. It's gonna mimic that. So as you know, when you press a button, I like to give instant feedback to the user. So that's what this does. It'll set those NeoPixels on the board. So we have button A, and then we're just gonna copy paste this. And um, rather than mute, we're gonna go previous track with A because A is kind of on the left side for me and then button B on the board and then we'll do next track. So that's here and we'll change the color to blue. So now button A goes previous track, button B goes next track. We're gonna do another thing which is button A plus B will pause and you can do whatever you want but I'm just demoing this. And then we did that shake. So for this, we did next track as well. So um, I'm gonna change this to green and then, so when you're like shaking, like, ah, I'm not feeling this and you shake it and you go to the next one. So let's change that to maybe yellow up here. And there we go. I mean, we built it just like that. So now I'm um, gonna pair this. Okay, it looks like it's paired and I'm gonna to try to program it. Hit download. Looks like I got it. Maybe not. Drag and drop it over to C Play Boot. There we go. So again, you don't have to have Spotify as a top level app. You just have to have Spotify open. Or Apple's Music or whatever else uses media controls. So I actually have MakeCode as the top level application, but it's communicating with Spotify still. <clears throat> Or I can shake to next level. Right. And you can do whatever you want. I mean, it's, it's somewhat magical. So whatever sensors um, or other ideas that you have, you know, you can build out your own media control platform. Um, I'm going to quit Spotify here and show you, like, it works with other things as well. Like, here is some, our, our playlist for the CPX. So we can go to previous. Okay, this is going to be our move.
This is kind of meta. Now <laughs> that we've worked with the game, uh, we're going to play Super Mario Brothers. We don't like this. Our, I can our, um, shake the controller. There we go. Oh, it got an ad. Boo. Okay. Anyway, so that's how it works. Yeah, I'm just super excited to see what y'all can build with this functionality. And it's, it's really super simple and, and straightforward. So yeah, awesome.